four hours of talk, debate and challenge by eight candidates. This was what preoccupied most Iranians that prefer to stay home and watch television. Watch a new kind of debate here to choose the person they want to vote for in two weeks time. This is the first time we're seeing eight presidential candidates debating on TV. From the look on the streets of Tehran, it's empty. So we're going to go inside and check it out. The smiles, the cheers and the prayers said by the people showed the hype of what is being called the most watched program on Iranian television. It was nice to see some were cheering for their candidate of choice and at the same time seeing what other candidates had to say. The phenomenon of all candidates challenging each other is new. In previous years they were held two by two but this time it was all at once. I watched a four hour debate in several campaigns trying to get a feel of the people working for each campaign and at the same time to see their reactions, their cries of joy and happiness. And many liked it. The debates were very useful in getting the candidates better known to the people and to show their expertise and plans. I think the pros were that it emphasized on being ethical, something that unfortunately didn't happen during the previous elections two by two debates. The benefits of the debates we see is that it clarifies the views of the candidates for the general public and the undecided as they clearly state their plans for viewers and they can ask the questions they want to know about other candidates and get their answer. In the debate we saw today, they debated logically and ethically the economical and political problems and didn't make personal attacks. While every campaign I saw the debate with thought their candidate appeared to be the strongest, but what was true was the weaker candidates were seen, and that's what most people agreed on. The debate kept many people at home, but I prefer to watch it in groups with different campaigns going back and forth between them. Some thought the debate was boring, after all, it was four hours. The high number of candidates doesn't allow enough time for each candidate to respond and doesn't allow a candidate to respond fully and clearly to the questions posed, and at the same time it wouldn't be so long. Maybe because it was too long. The talk became too technical, that might be boring for the general public. Looking at social media sites after the debate, it showed the debate had changed some people's minds. Some wrote they will no longer vote for the person they had in mind. But all in all, it seemed the debate showed the campaigners if they were working for the good cause or not, and how hopeful is their presidential candidate. It also helped the general public see their candidates in action. Two more such debates are scheduled for next week, one focusing only on politics. Iranians will go to the polls in the nation's 11th presidential election on June 14th. Reporting for Press TV in Tehran, Pedram Khaldadi.